Hey guys, Cortland here with electricimportmotors.com. Uh, we just took the pack yak out. We had some fun with it, built some stuff, filled it up with snow. What's up guys, it's Cortland here with Electric Import Motors and uh, just coming off Christmas, uh, I think most people have the day off, a lot of people do, kind of took a half day sitting here with my kids and uh, the snow is getting pretty sparse in our yard, it's starting to melt off, but uh, we want to go sledding. So here's what we're going to do, we're going to use the pack yak and we're going to get as much snow as we can from wherever we need, we're going to use the dump bed and I just want to show you guys how awesome this thing could be just for around the house. So uh, join us while we build an awesome sledding here in our front yard. And uh, yeah, we'll get started on it. Right, guys so we've gotten uh half my yard shoveled over there and like all projects with the kids you know they can't hang they can't hang with the dads so we got to just keep plugging away and uh this thing will be my dream if not theirs you know what i'm saying Hi guys, Cortland here with Electric Import Motors again. Um, I'm just out here with the second load of snow we've done. We're working on this jump we're doing for the kids for their sledding hill or skis or whatever. So I'm gonna drive this heavy load all the way around the block. I just wanna get a feel for how the truck behaves and handles in a super heavy load. The brakes on this one need to be adjusted already, so that might be uh, the trickiest part. Uh, this was the one that was in an accident, but we're gonna try it out and uh, see how it goes. All right guys, I'm in the car now. We're, uh, we're driving around our block here. We're gonna see how it goes. And uh, yeah, should be interesting. See if we can get it up to normal speeds, even with a super heavy load. Definitely takes some uh, some uh, time to get up to speed, not near as quick to accelerate. Um, but right now we're not going, I mean, we're right at where it, it clocks out, probably right around, we're just knocking on 20 miles an hour here. And uh, it seems to be driving smooth. Like I said, it was a little slower on the, uh, the start than normal for sure. Uh, but so far so good. <laughs> Definitely a little wiggly on that turd. I could feel uh, feel it moving around on me more than normal. Uh, part of that is that when it's the dump bed, I didn't clamp down the bed. And so it's only attached by the center. So the bed probably has some play in it there. You can clamp that down and make it really tight for either a heavy load or if you're traveling. So uh, that'll be an interesting thing to check out. All right, we're gonna stop again here. Yeah, you can just tell right off the bat, it does not have near the power with this heavy load. 
to just off the line. But without too much effort, you're right back up to the normal speeds of this guy. Yeah, overall, not much different when it's full load. It definitely, uh, on our screen here, it can show us uh, the pull it has on the batteries. It definitely pulls a little harder on that battery, especially on the accelerations. Um, but overall, it behaves pretty well, even with a full load. So let's go dump this baby. Right, guys so i think we're getting close to the final round here because i'm getting tired and also projects with kids man you can never get them done even though they're for the kids so we got our last load this thing is as full as it can go it's over full so let's see how this thing handles uh dumping it Just used the pack yak to build the mound that the camera's actually sitting on right now. It's just a sledding mound. We filled it up three times, and this thing behaved way better than I thought it would in snow. Even on the wet grass, I was able to just pull it right off, not even going into the low gear. So, really well. This thing was loaded to the brim with this snow. This is like heavy, I mean, this is dense, heavy snow. Um, at one point, when it was sunnier, I'm just filling up there's water dripping out so it tells you how much water and density is in this thing i mean it's set up like concrete i could jump on this thing and it would be just fine so very pumped with how much weight it could carry we drove around the block and it was really good so uh yeah this thing can behave well i don't see why you couldn't fill this entire thing up with dirt rocks and have any problem i mean obviously there is a weight limit uh they suggest 1200 pounds um but yeah, maybe a video in the future where we load it up as full as we can possibly get it. So uh, all in all, very impressed with how it behaved. And I just realized the kids can't have all the fun. Hey guys, Cortland here with electricimportmotors.com. If you wanna see more of this content, go to electricimportmotors.com. Check us out on social media. Like, subscribe, keep telling us what you wanna see.